Okay, you guys, it's been a hot minute, but I, on purpose, did not do a video yet because I wanted to show you guys results. Yes, because I'm holding myself accountable. Classic size Tyler binder, you guys. I don't know. I'd be, uh, I don't know if Franklin would love me or not love me in that this binder, I think I could live in it forever, honestly. But let me break it down to you what I have been doing. Those of you that saw my video, I think the last one and the one before that, I mentioned that, you know, once I got sick and all that crap, um, I wanted to try to get back into a rhythm instead of a rut. Today, I am happy to report I did my very first gym session since May and I kicked ass and took names. So I even took a shower for you guys. So you see clean hands and you smell, yeah, it's clean. Okay, so now what I wanna go over with you guys, I said that for the month of August, it would be my most effective and productive month of the entire year. And as of right now, I can tell you, I am delivering on that self promise. So I'm gonna walk through real quick what I've got. Those of you that are brand new to my channel, I show you guys everything with zero filters. So if you decide you wanna take any of my personal information, you better take the damn kids, the bills, and everything that comes with it, okay? So first thing right now, I have been uh, really using this pocket a ton the last couple weeks. Things that I have in my pocket today, I went, and I won't lie, I took a look at the um, a Range Rover Sport to see if I could trade my current car in to make it work. I don't know the answer to that yet, but we'll see. I've got my Alaska Credit Union. That's where I get my car finance through. So just the account number because I've only had that car a few months and sometimes I forget the account number when I need to make the payment. Yes, no one panic. I'll be putting it on auto pay, but for the time being it hasn't been and that's why I keep it. I've got a couple of Home Depot receipts. These are credit receipts uh, because with the investment house, I've been returning all of the surplus stuff. Y'all, I am so damn excited. We are going live on that house this Friday. Praise the Lord. Thank goodness. My Home Depot contact because carpet is getting installed today, so I have that right there. All my cheap little post-it notes that you guys know I love to carry and some extra ones right here. I've got a jumbo clip, my Ollie clip right there. The jumbo one, it's really big, but I've been using it for um, extra receipts again on investment stuff. I'm keeping this one right here because it's the next receipt in line to uh, return some items tomorrow. So I just kept that there for quick reference because right now we've had so many receipts, it's really hard for me to even pull them up on our like online account. I still have the dashboard. I haven't changed it. I know, you know, I was thinking about it and I've been getting, I don't know, I don't know even what you call it, but uh, Instagram, not jealous, but Instagram envy. Let's call it that. So many of the people that I follow on Instagram with planners, they are so good about changing out their dashboards and changing out their binders and blah, 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 blah. Y'all, I am just not, I'm not there. I am such a creature of habit. I've been tinkering with, okay, do I go to the Moterm A5 with rings, the six rings? And then I'm like, no, because I love my inserts. I love my system. And then I'm like, oh, should I go use another one of my Franklin binders? And I'm like, eh, no, because I love my black rings and I love my Tyler binder. Same thing with these dashboards. You guys, I like it right? I'm, I'm repurposing it because it's not for my disc bound anymore. It's like in here on a clear sheet. But my honest thing for me, this is only my personal opinion. Is this going to make or break my brain cells for the day? No. But does it make it look kind of cute? Sure. So there it is. Still have my Franklin Covey uh, protector. I still have Hayden's um, important contact. So those of you that don't know, my 17 year old son is in an inpatient program in Texas. And so these are just really important numbers that I keep with me. I'm in the process of ordering some new business cards. I'm going to be revamping a couple things. So there are no business cards to be had in here yet, but as soon as I get those, then I will put them in there. Uh, review and pay. What do you see through there? My hand. That means I am being efficient. I don't have anything in the pipeline right now that I need to review or pay. I have been up to date because this productive, effective month of August, I have also been looking at my finances every single damn day. Ba Boom! I'm so excited. To be mailed, you guys can see I have nothing to mail, hand as well. I actually sent out a hundred handwritten cards um, last week and I was so thrilled. 
I love snail mail, you guys. I love the art of postage stamps. I love paper envelopes. I just love all of it. So I don't have anything right now that needs to be mailed, so that's empty. I've been doing my devotional, and I'll show you guys something. I'll show you something, and I'll show you my why I'm doing it this way in just a second. But the devotional that I was going through, I actually, it was the last day today. It's a 10-day devotional on the Holy Bible app. Um, but it just said, Lord, remove double-mindedness from me. Take my negative thoughts captive and replace them with fearless focus and faith. Right? This, I don't know why it spoke to me so much so that I just took a sheet of paper and I wrote it down. It's not my dashboard, but I need it there all the time. You know, it really was almost like an answered prayer because that is what I've been wanting. Fearless focus, effective, productive, all of these things. So I just wrote it there. Nothing fancy. It is what it is. Um, I still have the quick start guide. This is something I've carried in my binder this whole time. I don't take it out. It doesn't hurt me. Sometimes it helps me when I glance at it, I guess. The divider tab. So last video I told you guys that I was gonna put some white labels on these. I haven't decided, and this is where uh, planner freakism comes in, right? I haven't decided what font I want, so I still haven't bought them. My old self would be buying every single font to then decide, and this time I decided I'm going to be effective, productive, efficient, responsible with my money. What a concept in the planner world. So instead, they're staying blank, but they're still, the sections are still working absolutely fantastic for me. My stickers on my divider tabs are starting to wear a little bit because they are the matte ones. So I think next time I'm gonna start using labels that have almost like a, I don't know, like a gloss or something to them to see if maybe they'll last a little bit longer. But these are still holding up in that I use them every single day. Uh, so my weekly, so let's hop into weekly. This is August, you guys can see. I have the house that's going live. I've been highlighting as I go um, what you know has been taking place. My uh, car payment is due, credit card due, daycare. I'm starting to really use this one as my monthly view. And I'll show you in a second because I have a monthly tab with still more monthly dividers, but I'll explain what, I'm, what I decided I'm gonna do those for so far this month of August, and it's been working. These are metrics that I need to start measuring. I put them here uh, just so I can be tallying them roughly, but I will show you guys where I'm actually putting all my final weekly numbers because I created a section in my goals tab to keep those. So this is what my month looks like so far. Something I've been making it a point to do is every day I've been pre-planning the next day ahead. So I start and put everything for the month, but I've been going in and as I need to add things that are important I put those. I am not putting appointments down here. My monthly view is not meant for my appointments. It's just for really bills, closings, listings, uh, critical things like that from a bird's eye view. Now, I did this, the master task list, something that I decided to do. There's a personal column and a business column. It says what I said no to. I want to start tracking what I'm saying no to because it's helping me be more productive and effective in my business. So the first one, coffee with Jim to get focus work done. I had to reschedule with him uh, just to a day that I had some time, but I had to book it out, um, you know, three weeks later and that's okay. But I said no to it at the moment and it really helped get the important things done that I needed to get done for that day. This was last week. So on purpose, I waited because I wanted you guys to see my final product. Do you see how much is highlighted? That means shit got done. So these things right here are items that got taken care of. I like this look, this weekly look, because I can see my schedule overall. Yes, is it extra work for me? Sure. But it's helping be a check and balance system because if I'm writing it here, I go through my daily and make sure I wrote it and vice versa, that I wrote on my daily and I make sure I'm including it here. It's been helping me make sure not to overbook myself, have white space. So I have white space throughout you know, the days, and that's been a great help. This right here is for this week. Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I am doing it intentionally. I did not really want to put my devotional and 411 review at the bottom. I want it to be the first thing I really do in the morning. But now with Baker starting school, I had to erase this whole line. Yes, ladies, I'm still using the pencil. Frickin' genius. This is genius. I am not using my pens. Freaking genius pencil. Okay? And my cheap ass 
Sharpie highlighter. Um, but Baker School. So I'm dropping the boys off at school um, right now while my schedule permits. So I had to move the devotional in 411 up here. What I did do, so I'm trying to see which way because my preference is that I keep it at the top so that I work in order of my day. The daily tasks, carpets getting installed today, for example. The ceiling fan for the investment house is arriving tomorrow. Like these are just bird's eye view things right here that don't require an appointment time or a block time. But next week, I put the devotional in 411 down here to see if it's going to truly make a difference the way my head envisions or not because it's a little cluttered right there for me. We'll see. I don't know how it'll end up working. So give me this week and next week and we'll figure it out together, okay? So you can see one of my, I don't know, one of my favorite things being in business and a, a long time ago, I'm trying to get back to some of my old school stuff that worked, my techniques. I loved booking two weeks out because it reminded me that I have a job and it reminds me of where I'm going. So you can see I've got not only two weeks, I've got three weeks already starting to get planned and I'm really excited. And even week four, I'm really excited about that. And then September. So I've got September right here. I haven't started planning in there, but I want to show you guys, this is my daily section, but we're gonna hop over here to the monthly one real quick because I told you I am uh, doing something to see if it works or not. So September. So these are the monthly tabs. I don't necessarily want to put them into my weekly section where that pretty blooms monthly look is. These are the Carrara inserts, but I'm starting to put for September pre-planning things that are going to need to take place for my September calendar. Uh, this is almost my uh, rough draft, my sketch pad. Okay. So this I can mark, I can move around whatever. So that by the time I put it on the blooms one, chances are those things are going to be pretty much established so that if I did decide to write them in a pen, I could write them in a pen and it wouldn't look like a sloppy mess. So Baker, our son's got early release every Wednesday, Labor Day, no school. I went through, um, Baker's and Witten's, um, school schedule. So that way I could start putting the dates because that is one thing we suck at. We're always like super last minute, like, oh crap, we forgot school, ah, early release, ah, holiday. I'm trying to be effective. So I have October, I went through September, October. I went through November and I even went through December already with the holidays. I'm going to be going to Texas and staying there starting in September for Hayden um, because he's gonna start furloughing with his inpatient program. So I'm gonna be moving there. Patrick and the kids are staying here, but I still am trying to figure out like vacation when I can schedule some time to visit um, over here and kind of juggle over there. So God's miracle will end up working out on that. But wanted to show you the that monthly tab. So we're gonna go back to daily. I'm on purpose just gonna kind of rush us through this, but I want you guys to notice the highlighting stuff. I mean, what does that tell you? Are y'all proud of me? Like I'm proud of myself? I hope so, because I've been working really hard on this. Things that I did, I put money review, and you guys have seen, anybody that's been following me, and if y'all haven't, and you look back at my videos, I kept trying to put budget, budget, budget in there, and my brain would look straight over it and not do anything. This has been working really well. Money review down there. It's less intimidating for me. This two-day sheet. Okay, y'all at Franklin Covey, if you hear me, if we could have the Carraras in the two days, I would love them. I would be obsessed. I. What if I commit to you that I could make sure that a thousand women bought it? That help and men because they would be perfect for dudes too. So, um, but anyway, so money review. These two days, this has been such a good thing. Less space. Uh, it's helping the binder stay less heavy, but it is just, it's perfect because it's been so easy for me to carry things over when I need to carry them over, or I can see the stay and say, hey, actually I had a little bit more room over here than here. So it's helping me be really effective and I love it. So money review has been working right there. This I'm still checking off and delegating, but I'm still highlighting as I go. I have learned and I put a blog post um, on my website, but I... I love highlighting. It is very satisfying to me. It shows me that I'm getting things done. I can see it and I love things that I can see. This is for today. So for example, I already dropped the boys off at school and I did the gym, right? So that's a highlight and that's a highlight. Perfect. I haven't listened to my podcast yet. I will. I've got to look in the Texas Real Estate Commission to make sure that my certificates, I submitted two broker tests 
certificates because um, I'm trying to get my broker's license out there. So yeah, I've got to look. My broker class book, this is already, so this is, I'm, this is like such a good real life experience. I called the broker class book. I need a physical copy. They didn't realize that when I booked my class. So yes, I've already talked to them and yes, they're shipping it today. It should be here in the next few days, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to forward this, right? So chances are it's probably going to arrive by Thursday or Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a reminder here. And it's a B priority. It's not like my hair is going to fall off more than it is, uh, you know, if it doesn't arrive. But did Champion's book arrive? Okay. So that's underway. Carpet install, they're going to be getting over there um, in just a little while. The devotional, I already did my devotional for today, so that is done. We're going to be reviewing the 411 together. I'll show you guys that. Um, and then I'm going to be doing database growth. I need a vendor to help me with an open house for the investment house. I've got some white space, so I gave myself some breathing room. And then I've got Hayden's uh, weekly counseling call, like the family call. So important things up here that I've added. Carpet install, important. I've got a credit card due, and I even put the minimum payment on there. Credit card due. Um, I put payday sticker on there. So I'm trying to, you know set it up in a way that is going to make this month exactly what I declared it to be, right? This tool pen has not even been taken out of the slot. I have not used it at all. So it's really just for decoration at this point. My 411. So I am using this um, really just to keep track every day. I have not had to make a brand new card. This has been carrying day over day. So now we're at nine days of using this every day. I love it that way, it's on purpose. There are some things, so it broke down my annual goals, and then what do I need to do monthly to make it attainable? What do I need to do weekly? On the other side, there's numbers that I need to track, so 20% of the pie, if you will. What do I need to track? For example, how many Mets have I added to my database? There's certain things that need to be tracked, and then there's a task list, things that I need to be monitoring, which is your 80%, so 80-20 and then results for the month. So this shows me where I need to be. What I did do on this one is, let me show you guys. And don't mind the hole punch. I did a crappy hole punch, but I will do better next time. Every uh, week, I'm gonna be going ahead and updating this sheet. There's only one sheet that gets a new one week over week but these are gonna stay month over month and then I'll be actually saving them in a binder because I do wanna see my progress overall. So I made this by myself. It's called a 411 numbers to track for August. So it just shows this week, you know, what did I do? How many, I, so for example, the Met data, I'm supposed to do 20 a week is what I established as my goal on my 411 card. So the month to date gap, that's when you take week over week and in this case, you know, I did 20 the week before, 24. So you just put that number in. So I can see that I'm progressing and I need to see where I need to offset. Hey, I fell short this week. I need to add over here. Or hey, I'm ahead of the game. So anything above this is icing on the cake kind of deal. CMAs, which is a comparative market analysis for sellers. I didn't do any this week. I didn't take any new listings. I didn't do a buyer interview, but I do have one new buyer already that I interviewed the week before that I'm working with. I did two of my tests are completely done. The days that the finances were reviewed, I reviewed six out of seven days, which y'all know for me is massive. And then Saturday 411 review, uh, it was done. I did that. I updated things, hence the papers. And then the face-to-face -face this week, I did two face-to-face -face, uh, meetups. This is going to be done, update the last day of August. So I just made a little note for myself, complete the last day of August, and then complete the last day of the month. So that's where those are. Now, this right here. So Tuesday, I've still got my schedule booked. Pencil, y'all ladies, gents, that's the way to go, I think, if you want to try it out. If you do end up trying it out, let me know if you like the idea. It's been seriously genius for me. I love it. And I'm a lefty and it doesn't smear. It doesn't look ridiculous. And it's been awesome because what I can delete, I'm not making a big mess. So this is what I've got going, you know, for, um, for the week and then even going through the end of the month. So I'm flipping quick because I don't want to bore y'all too much, but I have this all the way booked through August. 
I have not put September yet in here. I will put September in this weekend. So then we'll have the entire month of September so I can start working on it. This has been really nice. So my beginning of the month, um, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I just made time. It took me realistically, uh, give or take probably two hours, but I was juggling kids and watching Netflix and cooking and laundry and all kinds of crap. So, um, but just putting all the established things, there's things that just happen every single day or happen a specific day of every week, et cetera. So that helps kind of fill it up already. And then I went through and I just kind of filled in some gaps and then was able to uh, really look at what days I have for what specific tasks. We did talk about the monthly ones already, so I'm not going to do those. Those are my rough sketches for putting final ones. I have another page protector right here. These are going to be really just goals section. The compass card, I followed my same advice. That's the extra one, but I folded it over. And then this is for this week. So physical, I need to get back on my keto diet, do my gym sessions, social and emotional, grow my database, mental, bed by 10, my habits and my routines. You guys, I thrive on those between my depression, my anxiety, and just racing thoughts. The more that I can stick with my habits and routines, the better it is for me mentally. And any time that I'm mentally strong, I can kick ass and take names at anything I do spiritual, daily devotional. So then I broke it down. As a realtor, I want to grow my database by 20. I need to do the 411 actions right on my task card because that's going to help me get where I want to go. And I need to update my pipeline. I need to see what I've got going between now and the end of the year. On a mom role, Hayden, my inpatient son, a call with Terry with his counselor. I hope that that goes good this week. So that is most important to me on a mom level. And then talk to each kid this week. I just, my older ones are living their own life right now. So I just want to make it a point that I talk to them at least once this week and just listen, be present, not working and just have chit chat. And then drop off the boys Sorry, at school. I couldn't hear what you said. Siri's being a stalker. Um, and then the boys, Baker and Witten, the youngest ones, dropping them off except for Tuesday uh, because I have to go take my car to get serviced. Nothing wrong, just standard service. Investor, so I am an investor, right? I have an investment house. So I just need to make sure I continue to return the surplus and then we go live on the 13th. So those are the only things that if we get that done this week is awesome on the investor category of my life. Financer, so financer I'm deciding to call myself because that makes me feel as if it's important. But daily movement and looking. Notice I phrase that very intentionally, daily movement and looking. The more that I was trying to force myself to quote unquote budget, finance, all that, those damn words just overwhelm me and my brain shuts off. I procrastinate and I don't do a damn thing with it even though I know I'm supposed to. So daily movement and looking is progress and so far that has been proving to be wonderful. Um, and then on the friend side, I want to see one friend in person this week. That's important to me. And then text or message one of my friends. I'm really wanting to just kind of get out of that isolation phase that I've been in and reclusive and just start at least, um, letting people know I'm loving them and thinking of them. So 411 personal, this is a 411, but these are only personal annual goals, monthly goals and weekly goals. A lot of this, you guys, right now, and I didn't realize it until I realized it this weekend updating my work one, a lot of my personal is actually tied to my work. So the actions, a lot of them, the tracking of them are still the same that they are on my business. So for example, savings account, taxes, um, sinking funds, all those things, I'm still tracking for business because I wanted to do those as well. So it was actually kind of nice so that I'm not doubling up my work. I was able to try to condense what I needed. That's why the 20% numbers to track and the 80% task list really didn't need anything because the business one is supporting that. This one right here. So this was last week and I did okay. I crave sugar like nobody's business. So I did not do my keto very well at all, but I did start marking and I did my goals and my notes. So those are progress. I'm very happy for those. This week, and this is the one the week before, I'm trying to keep them for the month in here just so I can track and see what my progress is, um, how well I'm doing, because I say this matters, so I need to make sure that it matters, if that makes sense. So this week, so I've got the 9th through the 15th. Today I'm gonna start putting breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So in this case, bulletproof coffee. 
keto coffee. And then um, I just highlight it, nothing crazy. Now my water, so at the gym, I started my Hydro Flask. It's 40 ounces, I looked at the bottom because I didn't even know how much water this is. And I am almost done, but as soon as I'm done, 40 ounces means five glasses of water. I'm so excited, I actually was like thrilled. I was in our bathroom by myself, blow drying my hair, and I was so happy that I get to fill that out. Uh, my exercise, so I wanna put every day how many steps I do, and then I'll put the exercise. Because I haven't been able to work out full time right now, really my objective this week is I've allocated three days to work out and a flex fourth day in case I'm feeling up to it, but I don't wanna push myself either and then get knocked on my butt and not be able to do anything. And then I've got my goal. So devotional for one, one review, read in a podcast. Podcast is not every day, but it is three times a week for me. Again, you guys, everybody to their own, but I am such a creature of habit. I'm all in or all out. And so a lot of the things that I have to set in place really out of compulsion um, and control freakism is I I've got to keep it on there because when I keep it on there, chances of it getting done is great. And when I don't, it doesn't. So you'll notice that eventually podcasts are going to be happening every day. There's things that will start happening. And again, it's my compulsion. So don't, don't have comparison is the thief of joy. Y'all don't, don't do it. If you don't want to do it, uh, my biggest advice that I'm learning Stick with what you know you can stick with and get rid of all the other crap that is just not gonna work. Because again, you guys are seeing our channels, you are looking at Instagram. We're all looking at these things and then feeling not good enough or like, well, my planner needs to be more full and I need to have it more chunky and I need blah, blah, blah. No, you don't, you, you really don't. Just make it work for you. That is the most important thing. So I've got those there, my goals tab. So you guys saw my 411s that I'm gonna be tracking. I really need to cut that because that's driving me nuts. Project number one, so database completion. I need 794 total within between, I started this in August and then December 31st of 2022. But you can see I'm already starting to check things off and highlight them. I'm putting my actual finish days. There's nothing else in here right now. I don't wanna overwhelm myself. I'm trying to set myself up for effective execution. So that means set yourself up to succeed and don't over clutter yourself because or else what would happen is my brain would shut down and I would not look at this thing all the time. Goal planning sheet. I'm not doing anything with it, but it is there in case I decide I need it. But this system right here is working perfect for me. The house sales prep. So that's the second big project that I'm working on right now for us because we're going to be selling our house. You guys, do you see I'm getting my things done? I'm very, very proud of that. I don't have anything in here, same rule applies. I'm trying to be effective and not boggle my brain. Goal sheet's still there. This one right here, so this is just washi tape. Yes, I'm ridiculous. Yes, I did one line at a time. And yes, I love it and I don't regret it. So August right now is where we're at. I mailed everybody's birthday cards. The market overview email I got done. I actually sent that out on a blog post. So I'm excited about that. National Dollar Day I got taken care of too, so that's check marked. So look at what this means. I've got nothing for the rest of August. I am on my crap. I'm so excited. But this is how I have what's called a Touch 33. These are important dates for me to stay in contact with my database and different just creative things that I'm gonna be doing. So I am looking at this. This is my third important project. Notice how there is nothing else here that is because I'm not overstacking myself. I'm like, if I can get my database connected and contacted, if I can make sure that our house gets ready to sell, and if I can make sure that my database is growing, everything else is easier or unnecessary, and that's where I want to keep it effective. Projects, no projects, not getting cluttered with that, no new passwords that I have to deal with. Right here, I've just got sheets of paper. I don't really use them um, for anything, really, but if I need them, they're there. Family tab, so this week's meal plan. So I did meal plan. I wanted to try to save a little bit of money this week and fun fact for you guys, I am a couponer. I used to get, like I was one of those like extreme couponers until they changed all the policies, but we had like stockpiles and stuff. Yes, that was me. And at the time we only had the three kids and then went up to four kids. But by the time Witten came, all the wheels have fallen off the damn bus. But anyway, so I made sure leftovers, creating some meals that are gonna give us a leftover opportunity, um, even planned for the takeout day. And then I did our shopping list. I mentioned this on my last video, and I think maybe the video before that, 
but I've been keeping our meal plans because I'm trying to multi-purpose them and save myself in the future. You know, it's there's that something, some quote about like, do something that your future self is gonna be grateful for. So I'm keeping these because since I've created meal plans, A, they're things that my family likes, B, I already have my grocery list, so I don't have to keep writing this thing over and over again. And so what I plan to do is just put them in rotation and that way, I, oh, what do I have? Oh, okay, let me do this one for this week. So might work for you, might not, but in our family, you know, uh, creatures of habit, so we don't need an, a brand new creative meal every single day. We're okay to do rotation. So that is what this one looks like, but I still have the other three weeks of things in here. I have extra sheets so I can continue doing them because what I told myself was I'll do two more weeks of these and then that gives us, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different weekly meal plans to at least put in rotation to get started. Money, you guys will be proud of me. I finally started using my expense envelope, so niche, so my business envelope. I've got all of the receipts so far and I've been marking them down so I can, August 2021, know which ones I have where for taxes. And then I have just our weekly one. This is more personal spending. I have been working on that. This one, I'm going to label it the waste of money because I need it to be a little painful, but I'm grateful to say so far, I don't have anything in there. And I know we're only at day nine of the month, but hell, that's like progress because this thing would have been like busting at the seams normally with my spending. Auto mileage log, there is nothing to report there. I'm just not doing it right now because I'm getting my mojo going on everything else. And then the budget mom. So the budget mom workbook, I'm still keeping in here. I have blocked some time this week to start working on it more thoroughly. I just started like sketching out some of our stuff, but I really need to sit down and start thoroughly doing it. So this is progress, not perfection. Um, I'm gonna start getting better about it, but for the time being, this is what it looks like. I didn't just do that section. I've been trying to, you know, get at least a little bit done to start pre-planning. So I'm not half-assing it all the way, only partially, because I've got to get into the, the groove. Still have stamps. I still have my room design plans there. I've got envelopes right here. So I have already um, pre-addressed for myself and then a postage stamp birthday cards. So that way, as I start seeing people's birthday, I wanted to be more intentional about it. So I'm gonna be mailing birthday cards as I go. So there is a total of one, two, three, four, there's five, six, seven. Seven birthday cards in there that should keep me plenty and then I can keep adding more as I need to. So. This is what I have this week and this month so far going on in my Tyler binder. Thank you guys for loving my journey, supporting me, cheering me on. If you guys are using any of the tips and techniques that I've been doing, I would love for you to share those with me. In the, uh, the description box, I am going to add my website because I have a special website for you guys that show all my affiliate links. Um, and then I even have been doing some blog posts about planning and all that good jazz. So this is what I have for now. I will do another video. I got asked on Instagram and I know that some of y'all have asked before, but I, my next video is going to be what is in my bag and true impromptu, not looking, I did not make it fancy for you guys. This is literally what my crap looks like. So I will be doing that one and posting it later today. And then I also will be showing how I've been using my money planner and my happy planner. So that is what I have. Do you guys see my face? Love you. See you. If you guys want me to talk about anything at all, life, divorce, marriage, kids, uh, chores, anything, just let me know. Bye.